as I've told a lot of clients that I've spoken with about this, there's good and there's bad. If you're going to get hurt, there's good and there's bad about being hurt by a medical device that's been recalled. Some of the bad is that when one of these devices goes bad, it hurts a lot of people. The court system does not deal with that very well. So what the court system has developed in order to deal with that as efficiently as possible is coordination. The cases get coordinated in front of one judge for management because with the limited resources our court system has in this day and time, the court won't tolerate thousands of cases filed in front of say thousands of judges spread out all over the country with the judges doing essentially the exact same thing. It's a waste of what they call judicial resources. So they, the cases get consolidated in front of one judge and it's sort of frustrating to people because it takes time. There are certain steps that have to, you have to go through in this process. The first of which is getting all of the documents from Stryker, the design documents, the marketing documents, the reg regulatory documents, and having those reviewed by people on our side. In the Depew ASR litigation, which we're in the midst of right now, but it's a couple of years further along, I believe Johnson Johnson Depew has produced 50 million pages of documents. So it takes a long time for even a large team of lawyers to go through those documents and find the relevant documents. Then depositions have to occur. You can imagine how many people have their hands in the design, regulatory aspect, and marketing aspect of a medical device that's sold all over the world. So that takes time. So people, although they hear that a device has been recalled, they think that automatically means well, the striker just needs to get out the checkbook and write me a check. That's not the way it happens in the court system. For example, in the Depew case, very similar case, but, but somewhat different, there were two cases tried to date. In the first case, there was a very large verdict for the plaintiff, but in the second case, despite the fact that Depew ASR was a recall product, the plaintiff lost. So it's still a major fight, and you have to go through these steps to get it to a point where hopefully it will ultimately resolve.